how are you? So I just did a tarot reading for myself and it was a pretty powerful, clear reading. Um, and it all tied in together very nicely. I wanted to share it. Um, now I am a Sagittarius, so it is possible that my reading will resonate with other Sagittariuses because, you know, we share the same star sign and are part of the same collective uh, astrology family group. So now I took notes. I'm not reading from a script, but I did take notes. So my, my question to my guides was, where do I go from here? Because at this time in my life, I am in a time of transformation, a time of transition. Um, and, you know, things are pretty open with my future. So I asked Spirit, where do I go from here? You know, I need some direction. And this is the reading that came through for me. Uh, the first card I got, I pulled as the overall energy for the reading. And that was the card of temperance. Now, the temperance card means a period of waiting and rest. So things have yet to be revealed. Uh, my second card, now because this card was in the reversed position, I consider this my challenge card. Any card that I read that's in the reverse position, I consider a challenge card because it's in reverse for a reason. Okay, so there's something there that we need to look at. So my challenge card was the High Priestess in reverse. Now, in reverse, the High Priestess card signifies dealing with difficult people, manipulative people, uh, usually female or strong feminine presence um and it could it could signify a female secret enemy and now i'm not sure how many secret enemies or haters i have out there i know of one in particular and it's not such a secret <laughs> um and then the next card I got, I considered this card an action card or an outcome card because it is in the upright position. And it is the Six of Wands, which signifies victory, success, and honor. The fourth card I pulled is, again, a challenge card because it is in the reverse position. It is the Ace of Swords reversed. And this message from this card being in reverse, it's telling me not to make a plan yet, to live in the moment. So that's my challenge, is not to plan yet because I don't want to confuse the matters. I don't want to go one direction when spirit is pulling me another and spirit has yet to reveal the best possible decision. So my challenge card is not to make a plan yet and to live in the moment. The outcome card, which is uh, in an upright position, so it's an outcome or action card, uh, again from the, the Major Arcana, it's the world. So this card means happiness, satisfaction, reward, and success. Now, I started incorporating the use of dice in my readings um, as confirmation and a way to bring forth messages. So I'm using the study of numbers and numerology. Now, I'm not an expert uh, at numerology. I, I am a beginner, but I do understand some of it. Um, so the dice, of course, I added them. I rolled the dice, added them up, and it came to the number 27. Of course, we add 2 plus 7, and it brings us to the number 9. So our, our number is 9. Then I added up the cards that I pulled, and again, they all add up to the number 9. So I got the number 9 from the dice and 9 from the cards. 
I added them up, which brings us to the number 18, which of course I added again. One plus eight is nine. So the overall energy for the reading is the number nine. And uh, it's just amazing, you know, the, the synchronicity of it all. And, uh, you know, how spirit works. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, that's it for me. Thanks. Have a good day.